Greetings, fellow learners. Welcome back to Knowledge with Aileem. I'm your host, Aileem, and today we embark on an exhilarating journey through the captivating world of grit. The power of passion and perseverance by the brilliant Angela Duckworth. Before we delve into this insightful summary, I'd love to ask you to hit that thumbs up button as it helps us grow and bring more thought, provoking content to your screens. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an opportunity to expand your horizons with us. Now, let's dive into the essence of grit. If you've read this book or any other personal development masterpieces, share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. Your input not only enriches our discussions, but also fosters a vibrant community of like-minded individuals on this journey of knowledge and self-improvement. I'm genuinely eager to hear about your takeaways and any book recommendations you might have. So, don't hesitate to leave a comment and engage with our fantastic community. I can't stress enough how profoundly grit impacted my own life. And I genuinely believe it has the potential to transform yours too. This book takes us on a transformative exploration of the concept of grit. That remarkable combination of passion and perseverance that ignites the flames of success and achievement. And let's face it, pursuing our dreams and aspirations is no easy feat. It demands unwavering dedication and a steadfast commitment to overcome challenges. But don't worry, we've got you covered. By the end of this summary, you'll be armed with practical insights to cultivate your grit and unlock your fullest potential. In this video, we'll uncover the key elements of grit and discover how passion intertwines with perseverance to create an unstoppable force that propels us towards greatness. We'll learn about the significance of setting clear goals and how breaking them down into smaller, manageable tasks can keep us on track fostering a sense of progress and accomplishment. Furthermore, we'll explore the power of visualization and how seeing our success in our mind's eye can fuel our motivation and resilience. As we journey through the realms of grit, the power of passion and perseverance, I encourage you to share your thoughts and reflections throughout the video. Hit that like button if you're as excited as I am about exploring the transformative power of grit. If you find this content valuable and would like to see more summaries and insightful discussions on personal growth and success, consider subscribing and becoming a part of our ever-growing knowledge with Alim Community. Thank you for joining us today on this quest to unlock the secrets of grit and personal achievement. Remember, grit isn't just a word. It's a philosophy that empowers us to embrace challenges, persist through adversity, and embrace our passion for a life of purpose and fulfillment. Stay motivated, stay dedicated, and never stop growing. Until next time, keep seeking knowledge and stay gritty. If you enjoyed this video and found value in it, don't forget to like and share it with your friends. And as always, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of our future mind expanding episodes. Thank you for being a part of knowledge with Aleem. Stay inspired. And let's continue this journey of learning and transformation together. Summary of Chapter 1 Showing Up From Angela Duckworth's Grit The Power of Passion and Perseverance In the opening chapter, Showing Up, Angela Duckworth lays the groundwork for her central argument about the overriding importance of grit, defined as a blend of passion and perseverance as a predictor of success. 
She contrasts the common societal focus on talent with the often overlooked yet vital characteristics of persistence and resilience. Using real-world examples like the rigorous selection process for cadets at West Point Military Academy, Duckworth explores how traditional metrics of talent, such as SAT scores or physical prowess, are not the best indicators for future accomplishments. She illustrates that despite the different levels of innate talent among individuals, those who display grit, who have the tenacity to show up, stay committed and work relentlessly towards their goals, are the ones who are most likely to succeed. Duckworth also shares personal anecdotes, such as her own experiences as a seventh grade math teacher to underline how she began to identify the significance of grit in achieving long-term goals. She recounts her observation that grittier students, even those with less natural aptitude, often outperform their more talented but less persistent peers. The chapter serves as an introduction to the more nuanced understanding of grit that unfolds in the subsequent chapters. Duckworth aims to debunk the myth that success is solely a byproduct of innate talent. Instead, she positions showing up. The act of consistently and actively participating as a stepping stone to achieving greater things. This lays the foundation for the rest of the book, which aims to unpack the concept of grit further and provide insights into how it can be cultivated. Chapter 2 distracted by talent from Angela Duckworth's grit the power of passion and perseverance in this chapter Duckworth addresses the pervasive but misleading cultural myth that talent alone can lead to success she begins by examining how society tends to glorify natural ability or talent almost treating it as a magical quality this mindset often leads people to overlook the crucial role that effort and perseverance play in achieving true mastery. Duckworth argues that the obsession with talent can actually be harmful, as it creates a mindset where effort is undervalued and people become complacent or easily discouraged when faced with challenges. The chapter delves into how this talent-oriented mindset manifests in various fields, from academics to sports to the arts, Duckworth provides compelling data and anecdotes to show that a high level of talent does not guarantee success. In fact, those who overly rely on talent and neglect the role of effort tend to plateau early in their careers, achieving less than what they are truly capable of. She cites examples from history such as the rivalry between talented but less gritty individuals and their less naturally gifted but grittier counterparts, illustrating how the latter often outperform the former in the long run. Duckworth also discusses the psychology behind this misplaced emphasis on talent, exploring how the human brain tends to equate ease and speed with ability, even when this is not the case. This is illustrated by the tendency for parents and teachers to praise smart kids while neglecting to encourage those who put in significant effort. The end result is a skewed value system where natural ability is celebrated, but the grind and effort behind real achievement are rendered invisible. Overall, the chapter serves as a cautionary tale against becoming distracted by talent encouraging readers to focus instead on developing grit and resilience. It argues that by shifting the emphasis from talent to perseverance and passion, individuals stand a better chance at reaching their full potential. Chapter 3, titled Effort Counts Twice, Angela Duckworth elaborates on the formula that breaks down achievement into its components. Talent x effort skill and skill x effort is skill and skill x effort achievement the crux of the chapter is the emphasis on how effort serves as a common multiplier in both developing skill and turning that skill 
into achievement, hence the title, Effort Counts Twice. Duckworth argues that talent is important, but it's just the starting point. Talent allows you to quickly pick up a skill, but it's the effort that refines that skill into mastery. Once you've acquired the skill, it's again the continued, deliberate effort that translates it into achievement. Whether that's a championship, a published book, or a successful business, this central idea challenges the common misconception that talent alone is sufficient for success. She supports her argument with scientific studies, real world examples, and personal anecdotes. Duckworth gives examples from academic settings showing how students who might not be the quickest to understand a concept can often outperform their smarter peers in the long run through sustained effort. She also cites examples from sports and business, illustrating how the most successful individuals are often those who work the hardest, not necessarily those who have the most natural ability. One of the most compelling parts of the chapter is where Duckworth discusses the psychology of effort. She tackles questions like why some people are more willing to put in the effort than others, and how one's upbringing, environmental factors, and personal choices can influence their willingness to invest effort. In essence, the chapter serves as an extended argument against the idea of effortless success. Duckworth's formula makes it clear that while talent is a factor in achieving success, effort counts twice. By understanding the double impact of effort, readers are encouraged to invest more deliberately in their goals, understanding that it is this investment that often makes the difference between mediocrity and excellence. In Chapter 4, How Gritty Are You? Angela Duckworth presents tools and frameworks for measuring grit as a personal trait. She emphasizes that grit is not just about hard work, but is a combination of passion and perseverance. Duckworth introduces a grit scale, a questionnaire designed to evaluate one's own level of grit as a way for readers to assess themselves. This scale factors in elements like long, term interest in career and hobbies, the consistent effort put into work, and resilience against setbacks. Duckworth supports the validity of her grit, scale through research and real-world examples. She shows that the scale predicts success in various fields from academics to professional settings, often more accurately than traditional measures of talent or intelligence. She presents numerous case studies and anecdotes to illustrate that grittier individuals are more likely to achieve their long-term goals, despite the challenges they may encounter. Importantly, Duckworth delves into the concept of grit as something mutable. Even if one scores low on the grit scale, the chapter assures that grit can be cultivated and developed. She dispels the myth that traits like grit are fixed qualities that one either possesses or does not possess. Duckworth also hints at how environments, habits, and even deliberate practice can help grow one's grit, setting the stage for later chapters where these topics are discussed in depth. This chapter serves as a self-assessment and awareness phase in the journey to understanding and cultivating grit. By providing the grit scale and validating its importance through evidence, Duckworth makes it clear that knowing how gritty you are is the first step in becoming grittier, is the first step in becoming grittier. The idea is to introspect, be honest about where you stand, and then use that information to make a plan for improvement, which aligns well with the chapters that follow. In Chapter 5, titled Grit Grows, Angela Duckworth addresses a key question. Can grit be cultivated, or is it a fixed trait? Contrary to the notion that grit is something you're either born with or not, Duckworth argues that grit can indeed be nurtured and developed over time. She explores the various factors that contribute to the development of grit, such as genetics, upbringing, 
and environmental influences, but emphasizes that these are not the sole determinants. Duckworth introduces the idea that passion and perseverance, the two core components of grit, can be developed through a series of stages. She lays out a framework that starts with interest, followed by practice, then purpose, and finally, hope. This framework is not linear, but rather an interplay of these various components throughout a person's life. In other words, one can work on developing passion, perseverance, and purpose concurrently and make improvements in one area that may spill over into others. Using a variety of anecdotes and real-world examples, Duckworth demonstrates that grit is often a product of circumstances and choices, rather than something predetermined. She discusses how different upbringing styles, educational experiences, and even failures can contribute to one's grittiness. She also provides evidence from psychological studies that show traits like self-control and resilience, which are closely related to grit, can be improved with conscious effort and targeted interventions. The underlying message of this chapter is one of empowerment. Duckworth aims to dispel the myth that grit is a rare quality bestowed upon a select few. Instead, she provides a roadmap for anyone interested in becoming grittier, offering both hope and practical advice for cultivating a more persistent and passionate mindset. This sets the foundation for the subsequent chapters that delve into each of these growth stages in more detail. In chapter six, titled How to Find Your Interest, Angela Duckworth delves into the first stage of the framework she introduced for growing grit, finding your interest. She emphasizes that passion doesn't arrive instantly. Instead, it evolves over time through exploration and experience. Duckworth argues that a sense of interest is foundational to grit because it's incredibly hard to persevere in something that you don't genuinely care about. The chapter is replete with examples of successful people who didn't start out knowing exactly what they were passionate about. Instead, they engaged in a process of discovery. Duckworth discusses the paradox of interests, stating that while interests are the beginning point for developing grit, they themselves are not fixed, but rather dynamic. They grow and evolve as you invest time and effort into them. Duckworth also touches on the cultural obsession with prodigies and naturals, people who seem to find their passion at an incredibly young age and excel at it immediately. She counters this by stating that for most people, passion takes time to develop. It often starts with a spark, something that captures your attention. And it is through continual engagement with this spark that interest deepens into a full-fledged passion. Moreover, Duckworth advocates for fostering environments, be it at home, school, or work where individuals have the opportunity to explore various fields and topics. She discusses the role of parents, teachers, and mentors in helping individuals recognize their nascent interests and guiding them to explore these interests further. The overarching message of Chapter 6 is that finding your passion is an active, ongoing process. It requires openness to new experiences, a willingness to step out of your comfort zone, and a dedication to exploring various avenues until you find something that truly resonates with you. Once that interest is identified, it can serve as the cornerstone upon which to build grit. In Chapter 7, titled Practice, Angela Duckworth discusses the second essential element of grit, the role of focused and disciplined practice in achieving mastery. She introduces the concept of deliberate practice, which was originally formulated by psychologist K.A. Anders Erickson. Unlike mere repetition or generic hard work, deliberate practice is a highly structured activity. It is not inherently enjoyable, but it's the most effective way to improve performance in any field. Duckworth distinguishes between playing around and true practice. 
The latter is hard work. It's about targeting weaknesses, seeking feedback and repeatedly pushing past comfort zones. She emphasizes that for deliberate practice to be truly effective, it needs to be continual with set goals that are slightly beyond one's current skill level. Throughout the chapter, Duckworth provides various examples, from spelling bee champions to professional athletes, illustrating how the best performers engage in deliberate practice. She also examines the psychological aspects of this kind of practice, including the need for intrinsic motivation and a growth mindset. Without the belief that effort can improve ability, there's little incentive to engage in the grueling, tedious practice that excellence requires. Importantly, Duckworth also talks about the aspect of flow, a term coined by psychologist Mihaly Sixtcent Mihaly to describe the state of complete absorption in an activity. While flow is enjoyable and beneficial, she points out that it is not the same as deliberate practice. The two can coexist, but deliberate practice requires a conscious effort to stretch oneself, while flow occurs when one's skills perfectly match the challenge at hand. In summary, Chapter 7 drives home the point that mastering skills requires more than just doing what you love. It demands rigorous, focused, and often unenjoyable practice. However, the commitment to deliberate practice, rooted in a genuine interest or passion, is what builds the perseverance needed to achieve long-term goals. Duckworth argues that this form of practice is not just for the naturally talented, but is accessible and necessary for anyone seeking to develop true grit. In Chapter 8, titled Purpose. Angela Duckworth delves into the third major component of grit, having a meaningful orientation toward your work. While interest, as covered in earlier chapters, is about personal enjoyment and passion, purpose transcends self-oriented goals and connects your work to the well-being of others. According to Duckworth, gritty individuals not only have passion, but they also have a greater purpose that drives them. Duckworth discusses the importance of linking small, immediate tasks to broader, meaningful goals. This sense of purpose serves as a motivational tool that adds significance to seemingly mundane activities. She argues that this is especially important for maintaining grit over the long term. People are more willing to put in hard work and make sacrifices if they believe they are contributing to something larger than themselves. Chapter incorporates various anecdotes and examples to illustrate the concept of purpose. From teachers who view their job as a calling to benefit society, to social entrepreneurs who are driven by a mission, Duckworth shows how a sense of purpose can make one's work more fulfilling. She also introduces the idea that purpose often matures over time. It is not something most people find immediately, but rather developed through various stages of self-exploration and external experiences. Duckworth suggests that to cultivate purpose, one must be reflective and make a conscious effort to connect the dots between one's day. Today actions and a greater good, she provides practical advice on how to do this including talking to people who have found their purpose, engaging in volunteer work, and actively reflecting on how your work can benefit others. In summary, Chapter 8 asserts that having a purpose, seeing your work as contributing to the well-being of others, is a crucial aspect of grit. It is often the glue that holds other components like interest and practice together, fueling long-term, commitment and perseverance. Duckworth's message is clear. To cultivate true grit, you must find and connect with your greater purpose. In Chapter 9, titled Hope, Angela Duckworth addresses the final crucial element of grit. Unlike common understandings of the term, Duckworth's concept of hope 
does not refer to unfounded optimism or wishful thinking. Instead, she speaks of hope as the belief that our own efforts can improve our future. This kind of hope complements the other elements of grit, passion, practice, and purpose by providing the driving force that propels, by providing the driving force that propels individuals through challenges and setbacks. Duckworth distinguishes between two kinds of hope, one that is passive and one that is active. Passive hope is wishing for external factors to make things better, like wishing for good weather. Active hope, on the other hand, is about doing something to make those wishes come true. In gritty individuals, hope manifests as the relentless drive to improve and the confidence that sustained hard effort can and will make a difference. The chapter also discusses the psychological underpinnings of hope, including Carol Dweck's concept of a growth mindset. People with a growth mindset, people with a growth mindset believe that they can improve through their efforts, which aligns closely with Duckworth's idea of active hope. These individuals are more likely to face challenges head on, showing resilience and a willingness to learn from their mistakes. In contrast, those with a fixed mindset tend to give up more easily and are less likely to view setbacks as opportunities for growth. To cultivate hope, Duckworth argues that one must practice optimistic self-talk, create constructive narratives around setbacks, and surround oneself with positive influences. She points out that hope can also be cultivated through supportive relationships and mentors who can provide both emotional and tactical support during challenging times. In summary, Chapter 9 reveals that hope, in the context of grit, is an active, empowering, self-sustaining belief in one's capacity to achieve long-term goals. It's not just a feel, good emotion, but a dynamic cognitive motivational system. Under adverse conditions, hope is what pushes you to change both your path and your strategies to reach your goals. In essence, Duckworth argues that hope, when combined with passion, purpose, and practice, completes the gritty individual's toolkit for success. In Chapter 10, titled Parenting for Grit, Angela Duckworth, elves into the role of parenting in the development of grit in children. She starts off by acknowledging a commonly held belief that grit is either something you're born with or not. However, Duckworth argues that grit can indeed be cultivated and that parents play an essential role in this process. Duckworth introduces the concept of wise parenting, a balanced approach that combines both supportive and demanding behaviors. This type of parenting fosters a sense of autonomy, competence, and relatedness in the child, all essential for building grit. Autonomy refers to allowing children the freedom to make choices and experience natural consequences. Competence is about helping kids see the link between effort and achievement. Reinforcing the effort counts twice principle. She discusses earlier in the book, relatedness involves forming a strong emotional bond with the child, thereby making them feel secure and valued. The chapter also explores the hard thing rule, a family policy Duckworth herself employs. According to this rule, each family member, including the parents, must commit to doing one challenging thing, and they can't quit until a natural stopping point has been reached. This rule, serves to instill the value of consistent effort and resilience in the face of difficulty, which are key aspects of grit. Duckworth also discusses the importance of being a role model of grit for your children. She suggests that the most effective way to teach grit is to demonstrate it. When children see their parents working hard, bouncing back from setbacks, and achieving long-term goals, they are more likely to adopt these behaviors themselves. However, Duckworth also adds a caveat. Too much pressure can be counterproductive and may harm a child's mental health. 
striking the right balance between support and demand. Freedom and guidance is the challenge that every parent must navigate. In summary, Chapter 10 presents a nuanced view of how parents can foster grit in their children. It suggests that parenting for grit involves a careful balance of demandingness and supportiveness, a structured environment that encourages autonomy and a consistent emphasis on the importance of effort. It highlights that while parents can significantly influence their children's development of grit, they must also be mindful of the fine line between encouraging resilience and exerting undue pressure. In chapter 11, titled The Playing Fields of Grit, Angela Duckworth explores the role of extracurricular activities and the importance of a well-rounded education in fostering grit in young individuals. She argues that structured extracurricular activities can provide an ideal environment for children to develop passion, perseverance, and a growth mindset. Duckworth discusses the benefits of participating in extracurricular activities such as sports, music, arts, and clubs. These activities often require sustained effort, practice, and dealing with both success and failure. They serve as a practical playground for developing grit. Duckworth presents research and anecdotes illustrating how involvement in such activities can lead to increased grit and achievement in other areas of life. The chapter also delves into the idea of flow and its connection to grit. Flow is a state of complete immersion and enjoyment in an activity. Duckworth suggests that extracurricular activities can provide an ideal context for experiencing flow which can contribute to a sense of passion and purpose. Flow experiences in these activities can be a gateway to discovering one's interests and passions. Duckworth emphasizes that it's not just the quantity of activities that matters, but the quality of engagement. She advocates for focused and deliberate practice in extracurricular pursuits rather than a mere checklist of involvement. Parents and educators are encouraged to help children find activities that genuinely interest them and provide opportunities for growth and challenge. Moreover, Duckworth addresses the potential pitfalls of over, scheduling and excessive pressure in extracurricular activities. While involvement is important, balance is key to avoid burnout and maintain a healthy development of grit in summary, Chapter 11 underscores the significance of extracurricular activities in shaping grit in young individuals. It highlights how these activities can provide a structured platform for passion, perseverance, and personal growth. However, Duckworth emphasizes that the quality of engagement and balance are critical factors in making the most of these opportunities. In Chapter 12, titled A Culture of Grit, Angela Duckworth shifts her focus from individual development to the broader context of organizations, schools, and communities. She explores how these larger entities can foster a culture that promotes and sustains grit among their members. Duckworth begins by highlighting the importance of alignment between individual and organizational goals. In organizations where the goals and values of the members align with those of the institution, individuals are more likely to persevere and invest effort. She discusses how leaders play a vital role in shaping the culture of an organization or a community. Leaders who model grit, set high expectations, and provide support and feedback can influence the grittiness of their followers. Duckworth introduces the concept of collective grit which is the idea that groups of people can collectively exhibit grit in pursuit of a shared goal. She cites examples from education, sports, and business to illustrate how groups and teams can achieve remarkable outcomes when they share a common vision and a commitment to hard work. The chapter also touches on the concept of cultural capital, which refers to the knowledge, habits, and mindsets that are valued in a particular culture. 
or community. Duckworth argues that a culture that values grit can provide individuals with the cultural capital necessary to succeed. She suggests that communities and organizations can intentionally cultivate a culture of grit by reinforcing values like hard work, perseverance, and long-term goal. Setting. Duckworth acknowledges that changing a culture is not easy and requires sustained effort. However, she provides practical suggestions for leaders and community members to begin the process, such as setting clear expectations, recognizing and celebrating grit, and providing opportunities for members to contribute to the culture. In summary, Chapter 12 emphasizes the importance of creating a culture that supports and promotes grit at the organizational and community levels. It highlights the role of leaders and shared values in shaping such a culture. By fostering a culture of grit, organizations, schools, and communities can create an environment where individuals are more likely to develop and sustain their passion and perseverance in the pursuit of long-term goals. In Chapter 13, titled Conclusion, Angela Duckworth wraps up her exploration of grit and provides a summary of the key concepts and insights presented throughout the book. She reiterates the central message that passion and perseverance are the two essential ingredients of grit, which is a predictor of high achievement and success in various domains. Duckworth reflects on the importance of effort in the grit equation, emphasizing that effort counts twice. It not only contributes to skill development, but also leads to the achievement of long-term goals. She discusses how the growth mindset, the belief that abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work, is closely aligned with grit and contributes to a resilient and persistent mindset. Throughout the chapter, Duckworth shares personal anecdotes and stories of gritty individuals from different backgrounds, reinforcing the idea that grit is not limited to a select few, but can be developed by anyone willing to put in the effort. She also touches on the idea of ultimate concern, the one thing that truly matters to an individual, which can serve as a guiding force for a lifetime of grit. Duckworth acknowledges that while grit is a powerful predictor of success, it is not the only factor at play. She recognizes the role of talent, luck, and external circumstances, but emphasizes that grit is a factor within one's control and can make a significant difference. In the conclusion, Duckworth encourages readers to consider how they can cultivate grit in themselves and in the organizations and communities they are part of. She emphasizes the importance of aligning one's passions and purpose, seeking opportunities for deliberate practice, and fostering a growth mindset. The final message of the book is one of hope and empowerment. Duckworth believes that grit can be cultivated and developed over time. She encourages readers to embrace the grit mindset and to view effort and setbacks as stepping stones to long-term success as stepping stones to long-term success. In summary, chapter 13 serves as a recap of the book's main ideas and a call to action for readers to apply the principles of grit in their own lives. Angela Duckworth leaves readers with a clear understanding of what grit is, why it matters, and how it can be nurtured and harnessed to achieve long-term goals and personal fulfillment. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Knowledge with Aleem. If you found this video informative and enjoyed our content, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us continue to bring you valuable knowledge and insights. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future topics, you'd like us to cover, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our viewers and value your input. Don't forget to hit that notification bell 
so you never miss an update from us. And if you'd like to stay connected and be the first to know about our latest videos, follow us on social media and visit our website. Once again, thank you for being a part of our knowledge with Alien community. We look forward to sharing more knowledge with you in our upcoming videos. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.